you look to her right and saw a sign for an antique shop. As if antique shops aren't always high vibe already. This one in particular, off the charts. Um, but we also both have- Whoa. That was in here. Amanda, that was in here. That screech doesn't sound like someone who would be happy. She told us there were three resident spirits that haunted the antique shop. That board went flying this way, hit the chair, and all the jewelry went off of it. Yeah, it's like it's right next to it. Like, can you step away? It's been in these rooms. One of these two rooms, it's been in here. And we go in here, now it's over there. It was really, like, fucked up looking, honestly. That girl has something attached to her even in the afterlife. Doris, is that why you're still here? Oh my gosh, Amanda, that was right next to me. Before we get into the investigation, we just want to remind you guys one more time of this week's exclusive merch items, the fanny pack and the backpack. This is the final week to get any of your Spooktober merch. Come Saturday, everything will be removed from the site. Get it while you can and thanks for all the support you've shown so far. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky Boos. It's our final night here in Nevada. We made our way from Reno into Virginia City. Finally, we're ending in Carson and we really had no plans when it came to where we were gonna stay in Carson. All we really knew was that this is the state's capital. We had heard so many rumors about there just being haunted places lining the streets. So we rented the most haunted hotel we could find, which you will find in another video. But in this video, kind of starts when we were wondering about the streets, which is a small town of Carson. So as we walked out of our hotel, we looked to our right and saw a sign for an antique shop. As if antique shops aren't always kind of high vibe already just from all of the different items coming in and out from the different backgrounds, the different people, the different stories. They already have a lot of energy running through them. This one in particular, off the charts. The building it is in is actually from the 1800s. It used to be the station depot. So basically it was kind of like a train stop. This entire street that it's on is completely lined with the most historic and oldest buildings in all of Carson City. So it makes sense that this antique shop would be one of the most haunted. With that being said, we decided to go in the store and immediately you got a headache. Oh, right away. We were in there for probably about three minutes before we were just chatting it up with the one behind the counter and uh, one thing led to another. <laughs> we told her about what we do and asked her if she'd ever had any experiences. She told us that not only was it not unusual for us to be experiencing what we were, but that there were three resident spirits that haunted the antique shop. And within six hours, we had approval to go in and film there tonight. It just all came together like it was meant to be. I, I, there's no other way to put it. The antique shop is called Aunt Bee's Antiques. So while you're going down right now, scroll down as I'm talking, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and all of Aunt Bee's information will be in that description although there's not much because keep in mind we are in the middle of nowhere Carson <laughs> City and it is just one of those unbelievable circumstantial videos that we happen to end up at this antique shop well I think it's time to head over there and see what's really going on <laughs> let's do it
Oh, here's here's a set of two Ooh. matching ones. You can poison that and then drink it tonight. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? <laughs> All right, I'm done touching things in here. Put it down. That was like a movie. Put it down tonight. <laughs> That board there, there used to be a chair there. The whiteboard with all the, the With all the jewelry on okay. it. Okay. That board went oh. flying this way, hit the chair, and all the jewelry went off of it. Oh my gosh, and it's like pretty heavy, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like wood. Yeah. Wow. And that was just randomly one day? Yeah, that How? was about a month ago. Oh my gosh. Has anything that, I don't know, look at it, I don't want to say violent, because it's not violent, but anything that intense happened before? The other thing that happened is this was more over here. And one of these, uh -huh. we had just come in another vendor in here, come in and I was getting ready to go behind there. And one of these flew off and landed over there by the <laughs> fireplace and it was just spinning. And oh we just looked God. at each other like, did you see that? And no one was near it or anything? No, we just come in. We were the only two that were just coming in the store. Is that bracelet still here? Or has someone bought it? It might be one of those two. I don't know which one exactly, but it was one of those, mm -hmm. this type. And then like and she mentioned earlier place. with the crystals in the window, they yeah. were in that window and then I moved them here. And one of our, couple of our customers come uh -huh. in and they always have the ghost talk to him and stuff uh -huh. <laughs> and told her that they didn't like him there so i moved them back in the window and so now they're back in the window yes. still so three separate ghosts to That's occupy what we've been told yes yeah do you know anything about them no all right i guess we'll find out we're gonna start back in this room because i just saw a little child really uh -huh. so we're gonna walk back Way. I want to introduce ourselves before we come any further. My name's Amanda. I'm Mackie. We actually came by a little bit earlier. We talked to the owner of the house and everyone who worked here, so probably all the ladies that you see every single day. And we talked about coming here tonight. Did you hear that? Yeah. We talked about coming here tonight and filming. I think you know what recordings are we're basically just here to come and talk to you and hang out with you play a little bit we have some toys we brought you so i'm sure you have plenty here that you like to hang out with we're gonna come in if that's okay don't trip back either thanks Bo. we're gonna come in it was right in here that i saw you um what if there's wait do you hear that yeah. sound like a giggle a little girl. Like from this back corner right here. It's like, hee 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 Um, but if, um, but if that's where I saw her. Re did we really? Yeah, I was in this room. Yeah. Um, if there's anything in here that you particularly like, can you touch it, move it? Oh, is that how you see her? Oh. Is it? She's over here. In this corner. We're not gonna hurt you. She's not totally not even worried about okay. that. You can take energy from our light. You cannot take energy from Mackie or I. We also each have these little devices in our phone. My camera's on and it wasn't on before though, which is weird. Um, but we also both have- Whoa. That was in here. Amanda, that was in here. Okay, wait, what the little, what the little girl look like? I think I just saw someone, like a little kid sitting like on that- Whatever that screech scream. I mean, that's it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Is that, is that you? Are you angry? That screech doesn't sound like someone who would be happy. We're in the child's room. I turn my head after the first screech. It's getting further back. It's like, shoo. yeah. Shoo. It started out right. I this, swear, it started out this, this corner. Was so much louder. It 
It's back there. It's not, and it literally sounds like someone's in here with yeah. us. I need to calm down. Why? How are you feeling? No, I, it's just, um, st honestly, like, I won't lie, you know what I mean? As much as, like, we say, like, you, we need to be strong, we can't be afraid of these things. Like, it takes practice, like, you need to not be afraid. Like, I need to continue, you need to continue. I need to continue reminding both of us. Yeah. We're stronger than this thing, but this is crazy. And I think that's why I'm so... Yeah. Like, this is high energy. No, this is insane. It started... It started out literally right here in this so, corner. Okay, the corner. I'm going to tell you what I saw. So, the first screech, I turned and looked... And it looked like a like it looked like a doll almost, but like that long. But a kid sitting on this little wooden um, shoe polish boxes, like the old wood ones. Are they in there? Did you see one in there? Yes, and it was sitting on it, and it was like drooped over it like this, like a super like like it's scary so face, like. <sighs> and it was wearing like black and red and had black hair. It was really like fucked up looking, honestly. It was right here. Like draped, literally like this, like laying on top of it. But like it was, it was tall top. and skin. There it is again. Yeah, it was like link, linky, but like a kid's size body. The thing that I saw was about this tall. Yeah, and it came from this way to that way. So the fact that you saw it there, it was so its legs would have been touching the ground and its torso, like its head would have been right here, like literally like its head was under here, like, that like really sitting like that, like that. That but, like, it was really. I'm sorry. It's so fired so much. It just was so loud, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's okay. So what we saw was the same height mm -hmm. and in the same spot. Yeah, did, you, did yours just look like a shadow? Yes. And I say it was a child because it was that child height. And I say it was a child because it was that child height. Yeah. No, there was definitely like... I just saw something. I thought that was a mirror, but it's not a mirror. It's a window. My, I saw like, something outside and it's way too tall to be a person. Really? And I say it was a child because it was that child height. Yeah. It's way too tall to be a person. Really? Amanda. What is that? And it's not the same. No. It's not the same noise every time. It's mm -mm. different. It's different. We were in here for so long yeah. earlier talking to them. Yeah. Who keeps making that noise? Someone's in the room with the green light. Which is weird. Yeah, just. I'm gonna wait 15 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Why are you doing that? Why are you afraid to do it when we get closer? Can you do that again? That screech you've been doing this whole time? Every time we turn our back? I almost feel like whatever this was, like when it started out and it was doing these screeches, it felt super confident in itself. Yeah. And like each time it's like still trying and trying and these last couple it's like not like losing hope but because it's trying to scare us basically and it's not mm -hmm. and i feel like it's almost this sounds sick and morbid but almost like a game of hide and seek oh my god like for me yeah where i'm like i can hear you we both can hear you yeah. it's loud and clear but why aren't you showing yourself back room And if we come down here, is it gonna, something's touching my wrist. If we come down here, is it gonna happen at the other side? Look up. What the f***? That was the closest it's been. What the f***? Where are you? Amanda, it's been in these rooms. Amanda. One of these two rooms has been in here. And we go in here, now it's over there? Something's touching me. It almost just... someone walking back there. This is the weirdest thing. 
That was the closest it's been to us the last two times and that last time. Easily. Can you make a noise in whichever room you're in right now? I know which room it's in. It's in this room. Like, like I, I don't want to... I don't want to have it waste its energy on things like okay. that. Like, I want to know why are you making these noises? Why, why are you putting this energy into screeching and doing the same thing over and over again, but not coming forward with anything else? Yeah. And if that's the case and you don't want to show yourself, maybe we need to bring out some equipment. Should we go in here? I'm starting to get a headache. Are you? I feel I this am. pressure, almost like when you're in an airplane, you know? <laughs> yes. And you have that yeah. pressure on your head and your whole body. That's what I feel. <laughs> Hard to breathe in here. Hard to breathe. I think it might have something to do with that. We were both looking at that. Thing. What the fuck is that? There's nothing here. Okay, let's grab some equipment. I think this side is our best bet for sure because look at the mirrors behind you. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see these. It's where the noises have been coming from the entire time is this, these back rooms. Either right beside me in this room that we're in or right here next to us. It's moving around a yeah. lot, whatever this is. That one's that like was, a wheeze. That was the most different sounding one. You see, that's what I'm seeing. It's not like it's the exact same noise every time. It's different. I saw something, a small figure right here. There's so many small entities here right now. But what, who, or what is making that noise? Like faces everywhere. I, it's so hard with all the freaking right. dolls facing us. The green room is right now more active out of the two. There's something so specific in here that I just saw right when I said. Do you know down. what it is? What is that? It's something about those shoes right there. Okay, I looked at those two. I'm like, that's someone's legs in those. I don't think it's just the shoes. But yeah, that is a huge, huge, huge factor. Would you be able to step in front of this music box for us and make it play? Oh, well, I just left my pants. Shut up. Pose down. Where is that screech? I don't know. It's like whenever we're in here, it's not doing it. We should sit up a REM pod. All right. There's a woman here. Really? Where? She's in this room to the right of us. Okay. Well. She's taller than both of us. I say she's 5'9". What? She's brunette. She's got thick, thick hair. She's very, very proud of it. Um, Thicker than my hair? Longer than your hair. Alright. That was- The second I left that room. That's like, that was like a growl. The second I left that room. Did you hear the tap right behind you at the same time? I did. Do you feel scared here? Not really. I Do you? Totally calm and in control. Yeah, no, I don't feel scared. Hence the reason I was just in here alone. <laughs> in the room you said that the thing was in. Oh my god. 
That was that not me. Not you. You that was not me. Completely still until that went off. That's the most different noise it's ever made. That was like a whistle. Like, come here. Do you want us to go out there? This thing that is making these noises, it's not the woman that's here. Something <laughs> Why do we keep doing that? I can't breathe at all. I can't either. It feels like somebody's like compressing my ribs. It does to me too. Really? Your ribs? Which is like really weird. It feels like it's squeezing it. Oh. Were you gonna say it's gonna happen again? That's like the proof to me that that's undeniable. When I say oh it, God. it happens. Yeah. Did someone just walk in here? Someone's been in here with us. There's something oh that I can't quite make out yeah. what's in here. So, so much. Oh my God, walls. oh my God, oh my God. And then there's another thing that's out here. I don't know if that's you, this Becca. Is me. Sorry, this is. Is it? Yeah, Are you in range? No, I'm not. Yeah, I didn't think so. Step wow. over there one more time. And then there's, there's no way you're in your range. And then there's another thing that's over here. With. 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 There's another thing over here with me. Um, feels very, very comfortable with me all of a sudden, like, almost warm. I don't know the word to describe it, but something that has to do with my abdomen right here. Mm -hmm. Like a disease or like an injury or... Maybe a disease or... Oh. It's almost like I was compressed. I know that's a weird, oh, like a what weird, a, like a girdle. Yeah. <gasps> what? There was just a shadow behind you in the window that like peeked his head in, and then. I really hope you can see it on camera. I just had it pointed towards it, but I don't know if your shoulder no. will block it. There it is. Oh my god. I saw I saw that earlier I know. and I mentioned it so you'll see that in the footage, yeah. I think. But whatever's here it feels very peaceful. Like the, th the thing in the walls is the one that makes all the tapping noises. And then Do you need help? And then Wait, I why? I sound like a little a little kid. Yeah. And then Wait, I why? And then Wait, I why? And then Wait, hold on. Let's see. I'm starting to pick up more on the thing that's out there. I think we should set that up for the thing out there. Okay. Okay, so that music box is gonna go off. It's me. What was that over there? I don't know. Not you. Something just moved. Something. I just feel the weirdest pressure, like in between my eyeballs. Too far away, I think. Too far? I think it should be closer to us. I'm so sorry. That red light we just set up out there is called a REM pod. If you go near it and put energy into that red dot on top, it'll light up and make noise. Would you be able to do that? To whoever's been making all these noises? That wasn't us. No, it was not. Did you hear that coughing? <laughs> it's still going. Is it a cough or a laugh? That's not you, Amanda. No, it's not. I'm just completely to the side, hidden. So there's a spirit out there who's been making all these weird noises. We set that device out there specifically for you. If that's something that makes you happy that you have your own set device, can you go near it? That red light, not this one. I heard a REM pod, but from over there. So weird. 
sounded like a REM pod, but from all the way across the store. Well, should we try setting it back there? <sighs> Maybe they want it back there. I would never have even thought of that. Oh okay, God. that might be us. Okay, that, I think that was. All right, I'm going to bring it back to you to where it all started. Do you feel the temperature change as we walk back So there? much cooler. Oh my god, this place is weird. Oh my god. Do you hear the creaking too? Yeah, it's like it's right next to it. Like <gasps> Can you step away? <gasps> nice, can you step back? Oh my god. You are so impressive. Can you set it off one more time, please? I hear two men talking back there. Back here? Uh-huh. Should we go back? Uh-uh. Really? No. They're not even in this building. They're in, like, a completely different saloon. No but they might talk to us on a spirit box. Did you just see a shadow go by right here on the floor? No. Like an animal in front of that lion. Was that you? Oh, no. What the fuck was that? What was the first time it sounded specifically like it came from yeah. back here? No doubt, back here. That legitimately was like a growl. Like a... Oh my god. Continuously like growling. This. To the point where we're not even like shocked anymore because it's done it so much. How could this be? I don't know, Bo. I just don't see where it would be coming from. Why it keeps happening when we're right and here? It's so inconsistent. Yeah. When we're not in the room when we're in the room. Right? Like it's not motion censored. No, I don't even know how to do, like. Ex I just don't even know. This thing right here. Oh my god. He's got a story. Really? Oh yeah. There's so much energy in here. Like it literally feels like a bubble to me. What Nobby? I do too. So All I want for Christmas is a no viewless. Why don't we get out the spirit talker app in a spirit box? Mm hmm And we'll do a little session. Alright, let's do it. That's why I keep seeing things is these two back rooms. And they are ready to chit chat. Temperature warning? Nah. -uh -uh -uh. Yeah. The temperature warning's gone. I'm gonna shine around and shine that camera in there. Right Why? Now. There was a huge shadow on the roof that just moved. Are you serious? Yeah, like like one of the light shadows that come out. Like you see. We sh what the f was that? This coffin was from that back room. Yeah. Oh, bro, that shadow on the roof clear as day. What was that? Did you hear that tab next to you? Okay, that way that looks perfect. Somebody just crawled behind me. Oh, temperature warning. What did it just say? It just said, I used to live here. Oh. Passage. Will you record with my phone? Did you just hear someone behind me too? Yeah. Okay, fantastic. It's gonna say something else. I hear it. It's gonna. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Did someone try to frame you? Oh my gosh. What? I did not touch the camera, and it just got pushed back onto me. I see it. It's all messed up. And it just died. It just overheated. I like. Oh my god. Don't even want to turn this around on me. Getting ready to set up a second camera, and this camera got myself. Like basically saying they did it, like me. But but it, before that, it said I'm innocent. True. So what if there's two people? What if they, someone was like, I'm gonna do this, and the other person was like, It's not me. I'm innocent. Like, yeah, oh, don't don't right. don't blame me. Did you just tap that? Did you just? Did you just tap that? Knock that flashlight over onto Amanda. If you did, can you? This is my land. 
and if this is his house, are we unwelcome here? Do you not want us here? Is that the issue? What's the name? I can feel you walking around us. I can feel you surrounding us. Did you have a family here? What? Why are you so protective of this area? What? Soldier. soldier. Were, were you a soldier here? Is that why you're so protective of this this space? Like there could be so many different spirits here just from all this stuff. Like I'm looking at a freaking rifle hanging behind you. <sighs> No, it, it's so difficult doing places like these because all of the different antiques and all of the different items that once belonged to somebody else being in one place, it's just like a vortex of energy that you can't escape in one building. Did you just hear that? Did you see that? No, I didn't see there it. There's a big flash behind this cabinet too. I've been seeing the flashes, the lights. Are you behind the counter right here? What are those lights? It's getting hot in here. It is. What's help. Up? It said help. It said help? Yeah. Help. Uh. Help. Uh. Help. That's something you, completely new. Are you trapped here? Are you attached to one of these objects? Or are, is it reliving a loop? The soldier, this needs help. Someone, I just saw something in the green room. Down below. We haven't heard that growl in so long. Since we've been in this room yeah. where it kept coming from. Who was growling at us from what for what reason? Was it the protection and why are you so protective? I feel like you're giving us these tiny bits of information, but we can't put this puzzle together by ourselves. We need some more information. We need some more help. Tell. What help? Tell. Tell, yes, tell yeah. us. You are a soldier. Can you tell us what you're attached to here, maybe? Is it an artifact? Watch it. Watch it? Watch it. I feel like one do of you... them just hates us. Yeah, I do too. Can you, can you tell us how many different spirits are here? There's just like a hiss behind me. Like, not that growl we've been hearing, like a hiss, like... <sighs> Why does some like us and some hate us? I feel like... Maybe that woman that I was feeling. Yeah, I feel like some of them like don't specifically hate us, but they're just like bitter people. Yeah, bitter now, bitter. Yeah. Bitter then, bitter now. Whose home was this? Who stays here? Benedict. Benedict. Should I ask for a name? Yeah. Is your name Benedict? Can you set off any of our devices to confirm that? Don't forget we have that REM pod all the way in the back room, that red light. That red dot all the way in the back room. Avoid this area. Avoid this area. It doesn't go back there maybe? They oh, that's super specific. Right? Is there a reason that you avoid that area, Benedict? Is that, is there something back there? Maybe, maybe the negative thing. Do you feel like each like section of this shop has like a different spirit in it? I almost, I that, almost like, stays there. Outside. I'm gonna shove the dolls in the toy chest Doris. Box. Dolls in the toy chest box. Doris. Dolls in the toy chest box. Doris. Did you hear that? Is this still recording? It is. It was like a rattling noise. It said Doris. Doris. I wonder if that's who's behind me. Benedict was behind you. We were talking about the different sides yeah. of the shop. Doris, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you want us to know? Doris is not a fan. She's not? I don't think so. Doris, do you not like us? Big bang, like she'd slam a door if she could right now. She, Charlotte. Charlotte. She's very highly emotional. And, um, I think that slamming of the door I'm hearing is maybe between her and her daughter. And her daughter's name was Charlotte. There's a lot of tension in the household between the two of them. Just like beyond Mother Doris and Charlotte. There was such tension between them and beyond mother-daughter tension. Mm -hmm. Like 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. There was a boy that came into the picture. I wonder if that was. I don't want to. Burn. 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 What if when I'm saying, oh, she burned me? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, do you hear that? It was a woman. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. That's what I'm thinking. Oh. Is that right? Did, did one of you burn the other? Do you hear that? Sound like yep. It wasn't like burned alive or anything. No, no, no. Like, like of course. Like, like did them wrong. Yeah, absolutely. And yes, you're right. Really? Yeah, you totally picked that up right. Myself. It says myself. I wonder myself. if Benedict had something to do with it. Or she, she, the mother, no, not even. The mother knows she burned herself. Like she did something oh. to cut ties. Like I, I, I burned it. Like it's my fault. Doris, is that why you're still here? Oh my gosh, Amanda, that was right next to me. Are you still here? Are you still here? Amanda, that was right next to me. Who's doing that? Something that doesn't want us to help Doris. Do you remember how we learned from Sheena? That doll, that's, that girl has something attached to her even in the afterlife? Yeah. I wonder if Doris has this thing, this, like, Doris has- Watch out. Watch out. Oh my god, I'm getting- no, I was about to say, I'm getting such worry, a bad worry, vibe. No, no, no. Okay. It's not after us. It's after Doris. And we're- we can help her. I feel like I hear someone behind me. So there, it's- it is. It's to our left. Yeah. And they're also behind me, and they're to our right. Like, we're completely surrounded. Do not be afraid, Mackie. Like, okay. Doris had this thing, I feel like, with her. Just made, like, made her act in ways that she shouldn't have, you know? Like, people kind of get more negative and Yeah. And Doris knows that she burned, burned bridges because of this. And that growling, that thing, that entity that we keep hearing and keeps trying to stop us and throw us off as soon as we're getting on track. I think that's what was with Doris also. I'm from the 1800s. Oh my God, I'm I from knew, the 1800s. I knew that because Doris and Charlotte were such old names, like I said that yeah. earlier. She saw a flash of light by me. That's exactly from what time period this would be, is the 1800s. Would be, is the 1800s. So that's huge. That is confirmation 100% Whoa. that we are talking to two yeah. spirits from the 1800s. Well, I'm starting to get like a th like a stabbing headache and starting to feel nauseous and like okay. not that good. Why don't you step out if you want? I'm happy to wrap up. All right. Okay. Do you want to step outside? No, I it's okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I think then if the thing with Doris is mm -hmm. not only starting to affect her yeah. in life and in death, but it's also affecting you right now like, yeah you've been you've been so sensitive oh my gosh i saw it before it happened you're gonna see it in the camera that i saw it before instead of making all these noises can you go in front of our one of our devices really show that you're here i think that if it's affecting you physically like not, yeah. even, not even, even if it's super late just how it was it's affecting doris always and, always it affected doris in life and in death yeah is what i was getting ready to say it always affected her like it's not that important you know yeah we can come back another time we know the owner. She's yeah. amazing. It's right next to another amazingly haunted hotel. We can come back and we can find out more about Doris and yeah. her story and whatever else. This place is Thanks. crazy. Whatever's back behind me in this weird office area feels... Died. Died. Feels awful, let's, so... Let's pack up. All right, I gotta get out anyway. <laughs> There's a REM pod in the back that I have to go get. Okay. Here's a cat ball, picking it over. Are you recording this? Yes. Oh, that was impressive. I have chills on my scalp. Sorry to interrupt you, but... Oh, oh my god. It just, like, feels weird back here.
But uh, do you guys have like any Halloween decorations or anything that make a growling noise? No. We nothing? No. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. The only Halloween ho decorations I have is over here. But nothing that makes a noise? No. no. So what? you guys are going to lose your minds now when we see this. Wait, yeah, there's what? nothing that makes any noise. And even in the store anywhere? No. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. It was it's constant like, growling. Um, and it didn't feel angry or threatening or anything like that. Almost just like it was trying to scare us. Any room we weren't in, it would happen in. Yeah. But it was mainly here and like this area. Wow. So we thought that it was maybe, we're like, could it be light sensor? Is it us walking by? Is it our light yeah. setting it off? And there's nothing. <laughs> Do you know what year this place was built? Well, I know it used to be the old Stage Depot in 1873. Really? We got but uh, as far as when it was built, okay. 1800s? <laughs> we got oh my that God. Um, clear as day. Yeah, it was the old Stage Depot. Wow. What is that? I believe it's the train a train stop. Oh well, we just got back to our haunted hotel from the haunted antique shop. I am now very uncomfortable with how close our hotel is to this antique shop. It's literally like right across the street. What made me the most nervous about this entire experience I thought I was hearing the growl again, oh but I thought it was a car. I would die. What made me most nervous about this entire experience was the growls that we continued to hear throughout the entire night and throughout this entire building. There were so many, it was so clear that there was no other explanation in our minds but to chalk it up to, it's October and this has to be a Halloween decoration. There was like no other rational explanation for the amount of times that it happened. No, and so we were thinking it has to be our light, it has to be motion censored, we were looking for this item anywhere where it could have been, there's no item. She said there is absolutely nothing in that store that makes noise. So whatever we were hearing over and over and over and over again was something in that store that did not want us to be with it. That was one of the craziest things I've ever experienced. For me, the fact that it was so consistent and over and over, like it happened so many times that I had convinced myself mm -hmm. it was a Halloween decoration. Me too. And that's completely separate from all the other incredible evidence that we captured tonight. Everything happens for a reason, and for some reason we were meant to go there. Everything happens for a reason. You might as well scroll down and hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to see us go back to the other antique shop that they own, it's That's, also called Aunt Bees. I was going to say, a second location. It's a different location, completely different spirits, they say. Yeah, three other spirits. So there might be a lot more to this story, and if you want to see us investigate that let us know in the comments below we hope you guys enjoyed this video we hope you're enjoying spooktober and other than that we'll catch you on the next one peace, peace.